All right, today I wanted to have a very, very heated debate about is ACDC the best rock band of all time? If you're familiar with the channel, you know that we've done several, I mean, several rock reactions. Uh, that's probably an understatement, right? <laughs> and I will continue to do that. If you want to see more of my rock reactions, you've got to head over to scribecast.com. Click Scribe Squad members only so you can get my personal phone number and you can text me. 15-minute one-on-one Zoom call with me. And then in addition, I post two reactions every single day and also a daily vlog every single day on scribe squad members only it's been going up and, and it's been amazing so make sure you click the link that'll pop up here or the only link in the bio with that being said is acdc the be best rock band ever now <clears throat> we'd have to ask ourselves what are we judging on like what categories are we judging on um and i say it, it should be several categories so number one instrumentationalism right so overall like just like you could you could do like levels of difficulty right when it comes to playing the sound or something like that that could be one way to judge a second way could also be like lyrics right you could do that third it could be image fourth it could be impact right <clears throat> And then fifth, you could get in and be really technical and be like, how many hits did they have, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? We could really dive all the way in. In my opinion, right, and this is just based off of my opinion, ACDC is my favorite rock band, right? Out of all the rock bands that I've listened to, I could listen to ACDC at any moment in the day, and it just puts me in a better mood. But, the question is, is it the best rock band of all time? I don't know. I think arguably this, though. Angus is one of the best guitar players of all time. And, and that probably could be the video for tomorrow, is who is the best guitar player of all time? And then we could have another one about who's the best drummer, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? You could argue that Angus is the best guitar player of all time. Like, you could argue that, right? I think that at a bare minimum, ACDC needs to be in your top three. For me, definitely top, top, to, to, sorry, ACDC needs to be in your top five. For me, in my top three, if not, arguably, number one. Within that conversation, though, right? You would have Led Ze Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, uh, Kiss, Rush. Like, these are all within that conversation. But the problem with comparing ACDC, Led Zeppelin, and, and uh, like Pink Floyd is I feel like there's apples to oranges. If I look at ACDC versus Led Zeppelin and Pink Floyd, I would say that Pink Floyd is more of like a, a psychedelic, psychedelic um, experience. It's more um, long, drawn out, uh, thoughtful concepts and, and things like that, right? Which is great. There's nothing wrong with that. If I look at Led Zeppelin, I would say honestly, they're really blues and more funk infused than they are of quote unquote what we feel like is rock. Even though rock and roll comes from that place, right? Um, but that's why they're not my personally the best rock band of all time. I choose ACDC because I feel like they literally have a rock sound. Yes, you can hear some of the elements of soul and funk, but it's not like a, I feel like a Led Zeppelin at times could be like an 80-20 experience. It's like 80% funk soul and then 20% of the rock sound put together, right? Because of the voice. ACDC to me is... 80% freaking rock, 20% infused with everything else. They have, I mean, in, in their setup, it's like, it's not super duper elaborate, but what it is that they do as individuals, it's, it's what makes it so freaking awesome and intricate. And of course, as we know, Angus. And so you look at, you know, the Bon Scott era, the new era, which they are now, they still have this huge, big, 
feel stadium vibe sound, but only still, you know, the basic four or five instruments, right, that they have going on. And it's their ability to do that. Now, if I look at it from a songwriter's perspective, right, like we said, as far as songs go, I feel like now you could run, for me, you could run against Led Zeppelin with ACDC as far as songs. Still kind of simple songs, right, but hooks are, are catchy. And ACDC has this uh, pop crossover appeal because their songs got these big hooks that everybody can sing along to and follow and... And it just doesn't, anybody from a kindergartner on up could hear the song and just rock with it, right? And just rock with it. Versus Pink Floyd, even though a kindergartner could appreciate it, right? I think that more of uh, their lyrics are more, like I said, in depth. There's something you have to sit and you have to listen to the whole album to, which is not a negative thing, right? It's just we're talking about who's the greatest of all times. And part of being the greatest is your ability to transcend culture, your ability to transcend age, your ability to transcend genre, your ability to reach everybody, right? I think that's what made Michael Jackson the king of pop. I think that's what uh, makes Beyonce the king and queen of of the stage, right? Like, I, it's just the ability to transcend. It's the ability of, it doesn't matter if that's the genre that you listen to. When her hit comes on, you... You dance to the crazy in love. Like, you you getting it down to crazy in love. Like, right? Like, or drunk in love. Or whatever the situation is. Michael Jackson, Thriller coming on. He get on that stage. He get to dancing. It don't matter if you listen to metal music. You can still be entertained by Michael Jackson. And I feel like that's what ACDC has versus all of these other rock groups. At least that's what's in my head, right? Maybe I'm being too technical. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe we should just judge it off of how many hits. Uh, but they had several, several number ones. So you could argue that too, right, from that perspective. And I feel like that's fair. I feel like that's completely fair as well. They just have this crossover sound that just, it just, it just takes off. And then not to mention, you got the X Factor, right? The X Factor is freaking Angus. And who plays the guitar like that? There are other dope, very dope guitar players. We know we we done reaction to them like Stevie Ray Vaughan, right? Who slept on is is Prince. Like you know what I'm saying? Like there's so many dope guitar, but the way that he plays. And then the other thing is stage presence, right? Stage presence is something that to a certain extent can't be taught. It can be practiced, but it can't be really taught. You either have that star power, star quality, and their look had that star power, star quality. There's other rock bands who had that too, but they look like, like who the freak wears a school uniform? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like these, these elements that they had. And then when they started, they were really, really young when they popped on and they caught on. I say all this to say, that I personally feel like ACDC is the greatest rock band of all time. But I'm curious to see who do you guys think is the greatest rock band of all time. Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to hit that like button, that sub button, and that bell button. Like, I gotta go.